Okay, this is the wax beans. I bought this can. It's enough for uh, maybe two people, but in my family I would need to use two cans of this. I like the can better because it's not as mushy as the frozen ones. So anyway, I don't use the whole liquid. I took off about a, a quarter of the liquid. I only left enough that it just covers the wax beans and that's how I'm going to be using it. So now this I pour into a pot Yeah, I pour it into a pot and I put some vinegar and a little pinch of salt in here. So now I'm just going to put enough water, cold water, to just cover the top of the beans. And that's it. Now I let it come to a boil and then I'll be able to put in the root. I'm making some um, roux here for the wax bean. I'm going to let this color a nice golden light golden brown and I'm going to add it to the wax bean as soon as it boils. I'm not going to cook the beans any longer than that. So as soon as this turns color and it looks like the beans is uh, boiling already and it only took oh maybe about five minutes and uh, this will go right into it you see how it's starting to color in the bottom now I turned off the stove right away and uh, give it one second because this is what's going to give the wax bean a flavor so this time I guess I didn't have to take it off the stove which I usually do because I will be spooning it right into the beans anyway Can you see the color, how it's changed? And this you have to constantly stir. And it only took a minute, minute and a half. But if you stop stirring, it will burn. So you cannot stop. And this is what's going to give that nice color to the max beans. You don't need red paprika in here. So how much to put into the wax bean depends on you know how thick you want it and I don't usually know till I start spooning it in so anyway here we go as you see the wax bean is boiling and now what I do I just put the spoon down like this and then I just swivel it back and forth And just stir it in. Again. It still needs some more. It's still watery. See? Just a little bit. So let's try another spoon. Turn down the stove too. Just pull it right off. I'm sorry I'm making noise, but I'm doing this with uh, 
one hand but now you see how nice thick it's starting to be but don't hurry to put in any more thickener the roux I mean because this as it cooks it gets a little bit top thicker and if you do put too much in it just put a little bit of water and uh, it will loosen up again and that's all there is to it see how nice it is and it took what um, five minutes to make this and the roux so tell me that uh, it's not worth making your own delicious food at home and you could call this comfort food my grandkids really like it and I put it to the hamburger which I will be making today see or you could put this um, besides smoked meat too you know like smoked ham but of course I would warm it up the warm up the ham and make some nice potato with it and then put this on this as a side dish or a vegetable dish and this is how it is it's all done all complete and see there's still some more left and you could put that aside and then maybe use it like put it into a little ice cube tray or a little tiny little um, Tupperware or plastic little box container and just uh, put it into a freezer and then you can reuse it or throw it out it's really it's not that uh, costly so whatever you think there that's it so see you next time and enjoy Hajtsatok és karkötők, s egy régen elszakított.